What's going on everybody? In this video, we have to convert each of these quadratics to standard form and we have to find the y-intercept. Now, standard form for a quadratic, if you remember, it's y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And if a quadratic is in standard form, then the c value is always the y-intercept because if you plug in zero for the x's, all you're left with is the c. So getting the y-intercept after we convert to standard form is going to be pretty easy. Now notice that this is in uh, vector form and this is in factored form. And to convert either or to standard form, all you have to do is just expand and simplify. So here we would have, uh, let's rewrite negative five. This is x minus two times x minus two. And this is minus three. So you can FOIL these brackets out, so you'd have x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 minus 3, keeping the negative 5 outside. Then you could distribute the negative 5 in the brackets, so you'd have negative 5x squared plus 10x plus 10x uh, minus 20 minus 3. Now you could have also simplified this minus 2x minus 2x to be negative 4x and then brought the negative 5 in, but either way uh, works. And then from here, it's just all about simplifying like terms. So the negative 5x squared, that's by itself, 10x plus 10x, that gives us 20x, and then minus 20 minus 3, that gives us negative 23. So that is the answer for part one. That is the standard form quadratic from this vector form. And then what's the y-intercept? Well, it's just simply that c value, which is negative 23. Okay, same thing for number two. This is in factored form, so just expand everything. And in my opinion, expanding a factored form is easier. So here you would just uh, FOIL this out. So 2x squared plus 8x minus x minus 4, like that and then bring the negative two in the bracket. So we'd have negative four X squared minus 16 X plus two X minus four. Um, negative four X squared. These are like terms, which would give us negative 14 X minus four. So that's the answer for that. And then the Y intercept is negative four. That's C value. Let me just double check that I did everything correctly. And it seems correct. Yeah, it seems like we're all good. So y-intercept for this one is negative four and that's the standard form quadratic. So whenever they ask you to convert to standard form, whether from vector form or factored form, all you have to do is just expand and simplify.